Hi guys, welcome back to another Skyblock episode. Been a couple of days since the last one. I had to take care of some private stuff that took some time. There was a snapshot of new content that I checked out and also been playing on Psycraft a little bit. So hopefully from now on we can keep the schedule of a new episode every two to four days again and release episodes more frequently again. Like every two days, like in the beginning is not really feasible anymore because the projects are just getting large. I need to spend more time in creative, designing the farms and so on. Yeah, in general, it's just more work per episode. Unfortunately, the views are down, but that doesn't deter me. Definitely going to keep going. Hopefully also until 1.20. So if I can spawn here, I think the light level is not high enough. We need to place down a couple more blocks. I only got the obsidian on me right now. So I still want to play this world in 1.20. But it definitely depends if there's going to be a new version of the mod as well that implements some of the 120 features. There's a lot of new content in 120 that isn't Skyblock compatible. Like for example, the camel, camels that got added in the beginning, um, we can't get those. So in the normal world, they would generate one per desert village. In this world, they wouldn't generate. So somehow we would need a way to get camels out of thin air. Can't really think about anything that would be fitting. So <laughs> let's see if there's new yeah, 1.20 mod and there's also ways to get those yeah, new items. For example, the armor trims require templates. You can find those in dungeon chests. You also wouldn't have access to those. Who knows how we can get the sniffers. So yeah, will be interesting to see if there's going to be a new version. Okay, as a silverfish, I also want to talk about the plans for the day. Um, yeah, today just manual farming is in a program. So at the end of the episode, I want to have an elytra and I want to have a handful of shulker boxes. So what we need to do yeah, in order to get those items would be to defeat the ender dragon a second time. Let's see if there's a silverfish. Luckily not. Okay. So we need to defeat the ender dragon a second time. I'm also pretty sure the obsidian pillars will regenerate if we summon the dragon again. So I need to shoot the end crystals to defeat the dragon. So it's actually going to be a bit harder now. Um, but this time we can actually prepare. So what I already brought is a ton of crying obsidian. I want to place it around the platform so we can't be knocked into the void as easily anymore. And yeah, this should also be a way to get to the obsidian pillars. Some of those have the iron bars around. Um, what you can usually do is go really close to the obsidian pillars and shoot the, the, the crystal you know, from below. But I think this time we actually have the pillar over there. Um, maybe I'll actually go to a normal world and check whether the pillars would generate. Write down the coordinates and also make little walkways towards that. Okay. Then there's also still the Ender Dragon we need to get before the next dragon fight. It was also pointed out in the comments a lot of people. The dragon actually destroys the dragon egg. This is not a block that is saved from the uh, dragon flying through it. It's such a big oversight. Like how is the yeah, dragon supposed to, I don't know, uh, sit on the egg? <laughs> not sure if it's like a bird so, it can so the egg can hatch. Not, not a lot of thought was put into this by watching, clearly. But law wise, there's definitely still improvements that can be made. So we need to get the dragon egg, but um, how can I get it? If I click it right now, I'm pretty sure it would teleport into the void or somehow. It doesn't find a proper block to teleport to. That's why we also need the, the platform of obsidian blocks around. So I got the inventory and a couple in the ender chest. Full of those crying obsidian blocks. Gonna place those down everywhere and then we can click the dragon egg and hopefully maybe just make a little staircase down. It teleports onto an, a crying obsidian block. We maybe grab get one of those torches there and this way we can get the dragon egg. Alright, then yeah. Just gonna expand the platform for now until we run out of blocks and then we probably can go back and get more. There's about 5,000 crying obsidian blocks I have left over. Doesn't even make a huge platform. It's not that large, but yeah, it's definitely a start and it should help us with the next dragon fight.
Okay, now we have a big circle here out of crying obsidian blocks. Actually checked in a normal world how far away the obsidian pillars are. And we should be able just to walk up to them now with this uh, huge platform. It was about 5,000 blocks. Okay, there's still the dragon egg. Uh, I was prepared. I had to bring over so much crying obsidian and also brought a piston and a redstone block. So we could just break it. Okay. Let's see, let's get up there. It's a piston. And there you go. Dragon egg acquired. Perfect. I went back real quick to make some of the end crystals. And we can also put the dragon egg safely away in a chest here. Of course, can tube more of those. Maybe we'll do that later, but of course, there's no real use anymore for the dragon egg. Uh, unlike in 1.12, we could do bedrock breaking with it. Okay, um, yeah, let's all put the gas tears in there. And let's head over. This time I don't think I need to use the, the throwaway armor. I'm quite confident this time we can defeat the dragon without dying. Okay, I'm ready to fight the ender dragon to get that Schalke. I think it should appear somewhere here in the center of the end portal. There's actually already something I regret, which is not placing at least in a like 20 by 20 a layer of iron bars under the obsidian first. Because later the Schalke can just teleport to the underside of those blocks and on top as well. So I definitely want to get the Schalke to the overworld. And yeah, the only way to do that is I think forcing to teleport to a block that yeah basically touches the end portal. Yeah, with all the other blocks available to teleport to, this might be a bit tricky. So yeah, we'll see about that later. First let's actually just fight the dragon and then we'll see. Okay, four of those end crystals. Then the dragon should appear. Kind of waiting for the obsidian pillars as well. Takes a while. There we go, yeah, they do appear. And they're within range, perfect. So everything worked out. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the dragon fight in the time lapse. It's probably not too exciting to watch it the second time. And I also didn't improve my strategies, so I don't have any bads or whatever. I'm just gonna fight it the normal way again. Okay, one more hit. There we go. Okay, so where is the Schalke? Not there yet. Hmm. There it is, okay. Alright. Should we already do maybe some Attempts Schalke duplication. That's what I kind of wanted to do manually. So just get a couple bullets and try to somehow cause the Schalke to hit itself. Oh, that's actually a bit tricky. Need to at least pill up. Okay, so the dragon fight itself wasn't hard, but there is all the enemy now on top of the obsidian pillars, which just was a little bit annoying. Okay, so many. Yeah, okay, this is getting a bit out of hand. Let's actually prepare a little bit and think about it in creative first before we do anything with that Schalke. 
So usually what we did on Psycraft, like one twelve and so on, in order to get a Shulker to override, was try to force him to teleport to the side of this bedrock block, then just have a piston on top that pushes the Shulker down into the portal. Um, and in order to force him to teleport there, we just place buttons and so on. So the only available spot to teleport was over there. But I was thinking there might be an easier way to do this. Um, I was thinking maybe if we actually have a minecart inside of the portal blocks and then break the minecart somehow. Um, what happens to the Shulker? Will it be teleported straight away to the overworld? That's what I'm trying to find out now. Of course, there is still the issue that uh, how could we even reach the yeah the minecart in the first place? But I want to see that first, if this is actually a viable strategy, and then we can come up with a way to break the minecart somehow. Okay, let's break it. Seems like the Shulker didn't teleport. So this is just a normal world. There's also no cave below. You can just go to the overworld and check if we have a Shulker over there. Yeah, already hit. There it is. Okay, so this could be a strategy that doesn't require me to place buttons everywhere or iron bars below the obsidian or whatnot. I just need to find a way to make this work. I was thinking maybe if you uh, put a boat in there, it could actually work. Yeah, and then we land the minecart on top of the boat. So we could put a chicken in a boat. Let's see. This seems quite promising, actually. Um, actually, just drive it over. And I'm just gonna go to spectator mode from there. Nope. Oh. oh, the boat didn't drop down. I definitely want the boat to drop down. Let's see. Yeah, like this. Okay, spectator mode. It goes through the portal in spectator mode. Well, uh, doesn't matter much. And then let's put the minecart on top of that. And we should be able to break it, and the shulker should be low enough. Um, guess we need an extra block here. Let's see. Yeah, now we can just shoot an arrow or break the, the minecart somehow. He attaches right there? This is just luck? I think this was just dumb luck. Um, strength command. I definitely want to try. Oh, he probably landed on top of the chicken. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, uh, the boat only doesn't go through the, uh, the portal because there's a chicken inside. There's a rider, so we would need to either move the boat somehow. We can probably actually land the minecart over there. Let's try that again. Shiker. Oh, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Get another one. Okay, that seems a bit more promising, but it didn't land on the boat. Okay, I'm gonna set this up right. Another idea might actually be a boat in a minecart, and then we could put a minecart on top of that. So let's see. Okay. This time we teleported. Okay, this doesn't work. Unfortunate. Okay, I think I have something. So we can place a rail like this on the side of the end portal. Then if you place it right there, the shike is getting damaged. But it's okay. Just need to quickly break the minecart. And should be an overworld. Just cleared everything that was in the overworld. Let's see if we have a shulka there. There it is. Perfect. But that's definitely simpler than placing so many buttons. Seems like you can even automate this. So if you just have a dispenser below, could shoot the minecart, but one arrow is apparently not enough to break the minecart. So we need to double tap this. So I already have a setup here. Could have a detector rail. Then a shulker drives over that. We trigger this piston and then the dispenser gets trigger twice Go like that and shulker sent to the overworld perfect but to be honest it's also probably enough um this i only to send up one shulker over just to make it a bit safer in case i i don't know uh, miss my sword swing <laughs> i just double tapped it myself oh 
Ja, und das blockt probably. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that, that should be relatively safe. Okay. Time to prepare the overworld as well now. So, when I sent the Shulker to the end portal, I would assume he would end up somewhere over there at spawn. And then I want to farm some Shulker shells manually, something I've never done. So in all the series so far, we just got a Shulker from the end, brought him to the overworld, and built a Shulker farm right away and start producing shells. I don't even know how people do it without like a dedicated farm. I guess you just want some Shulker shells. I guess people probably just fight them in the end cities. I would assume it might be a good idea for some manual farming just for personal use, so not for storage or anything. So just got a couple Shulker boxes. If we just bring the Shulker here to an area with just top slabs. So that's the old mob spawning area from the very beginning. Um, I would assume I could probably maybe place some fences around so there's no chance I would fall down. I could probably bait out some uh, Shulker shots and maybe run around somehow and try to redirect those Shulker bullets so the Shulker hits itself and duplicates. And then because we have the top slabs, he can only teleport on top of the other blocks here. So I'm gonna expand this a little bit and place some fences around and then also a rail line. Also need to get rid of the bottom slabs there. Um, yeah. So the Schalke can't teleport to the underside of those. Okay, so that's preparation for the overworld side. And then later we also need to get um, an endermite that has slow falling effect and the levitation effect from the Schalke somehow to get the elytra. Um, so we definitely need to kill a couple phantoms so we can brew that slow falling potion. And I'm probably also going to brew some invisibility potions to handle the Schalke a bit better. Oh, I actually ran into a setback. I just realized I can't do brewing with the brewing stand yet because I don't have any matter ward. So we can't get slow falling or invisibility potions this way. Um, so I definitely need the slow falling effect somehow. Invisibility would just be optional in order to deal with the shikers a bit better. Probably can get around this, but I definitely need the slow falling. Um, so the way to get nether ward is actually we need to get some goats to spawn, so basically just go to a mountain biome, place down some grass blocks, wait for goats to spawn, then yeah, we need those goats to ram a nether ward block, which would then drop nether ward. Um, not too much effort, but I think I'm just gonna do it next episode. There might be another way to actually get slow falling effect using the tipped arrows that the fletcher sells, but I'm not entirely sure if the, fl if the fletcher actually sells every type of tipped arrow. So it's also probably a bit of work now to check all of the fletchers and so on. I think I'm just gonna yeah, do it next episode. And then we can also get the goats and do all of that stuff. So this episode, just getting shulker boxes for now. Okay, so we're back in the end. I think I brought everything we'll need in order to get the shulker over. What I also want to do is actually clear those spawning spaces for the endermen up there. I brought a couple of twisting vines, bone mill, so we can get up there and I got torches. We still got a deal with the Shulker somehow. I think it might be the best if we just try to box him in in blocks. And we can't get shot. So like this. Oh yeah, actually helpful. There we go. Yeah, this should help. Get rid of the Shulker attacks. Okay. Then we can focus on... Ah, still some bullets around. <laughs> yeah, and then I can focus on building up the rest of the system as shown as in creative. Okay, now we can try to send the Shulker to the overworld. So I gotta be quick here. So I'm gonna place the minecart and quickly run over there. The Shulker should land there and of course it's taking suffocation damage. So place a couple blocks in case we get hit by a Shulker bullet. It wouldn't just fly away. And then we can quickly trigger the arrow dispenser. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Yeah, if it doesn't, we basically have to resummon the dragon again, which probably is going to be a bit annoying. Okay, how do I place the rail? I guess from here. My card. Picked up. Okay, and. Yeah, Shulker should be in the overworld. Okay, um, yeah, let's just also go to the overworld and see if we ended up there somehow. Okay, we have the villager set up, just need to run up to spawn. 
So let's see. Oh, I can hear the shulker and he's attached to the sealant in there. Okay, um, yeah, I was thinking about our manual farming setup. I'm gonna run over there. Of course, the main issue is gonna be getting hit by the shulker bullets, having the levitation effect, and trying to get down there again. Could be quite annoying. So I thought, uh, let's maybe place down some blocks above, so we wouldn't just fly away all the time. Like a bullet incoming. And what kind of block can we use? Um, of course, it shouldn't be something that's tele uh, teleportable for the Shulker, so I thought cobble walls could be a good idea. The player can't fit through that, as far as I know. We just have a layer. And yeah, you can't fit through there, yeah. Just have a layer of those above. Should deal with the issue. Okay, so let's try to move the Shulker over there. Rail setup should do the trick. Replace the card. And there it goes. Okay, and then the next thing is break the minecart somehow. And try to start farming. I've never done it this way. Uh, should have maybe made some sort of a setup. In hindsight, might have been the better choice, but I think this could be fun for once. <laughs> okay, minecart broken. And now we need to try to bait out the bullets and somehow redirect them so the striker hits itself. This is like doable at all. I've never done it this way. Okay, that kind of worked, but I think the shulker wasn't open. Not sure if the. I think that doesn't count then. <laughs> I don't think this is too feasible. <laughs> but there's probably a certain distance. If you get too close, it closes the, the shulker. Okay, that's actually interesting. I've never done it this way. No idea how those shulkers work, actually. Um, okay, so we're getting too close now. The bullets to hit. Oh, this is actually tricky. I think it did work. But it just didn't teleport. Come on, bullet. Ah, there we go. Didn't teleport. And there should definitely be enough spots here for the... For the Shulker teleportation, teleportation to work, right? Could have provided even more. I was just hoping this works out somehow, at least a little bit. There we go. But there's not a second Shulker. Uh, it kinda does work, it's probably not the best idea to do it this way. Hit again. No luck so far. Right, let's maybe take a step back. No, there's nothing. Probably not enough spaces to teleport to. Oh. oh, this is actually sad. The Shulker killed itself. And let's double check, free cam. There is not a second Shulker. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How are casual players supposed to actually use this feature? Um, I don't think this would be better in a normal world even. Hmm. Yes, this is supposed to be found. <laughs> So in case I gotta do this even more often, it might even be worth it to get good at this dragon fight. But hopefully we have more luck with the Shaka next time. Okay, got end crystals again. I just hope that my twisting vines won't be removed by the end pillars degenerating. Let's see. Yeah, twisting vine is still there. Oh no, the top got actually blown off. An explosion. But I got Bowman, I can just Bowman it again. And there we go. I'm actually not 100% sure that we get another Shulker, but I, but I think we should. I can't imagine it was... Yeah, there's a second one. Okay. Would have been a bit stupid if it would have been the only chance to ever get a Shulker. Alright, then most of the setup got destroyed. They just rebuild it and sent this guy over as well. Oh, that's actually perfect. The Shulker attached at the same block. Oh, <laughs> this will be easier than I misplaced the minecart. <laughs> okay, there we go. So technically, re-summoning a dragon and fighting it again is also a way to form shulkers, of course. This could probably also be automated, so we can just have like, probably like normal dispensers. that shoot the end crystals and then some sort of a cannon, maybe? Arrow cannon, kill the dragon, and then kill the shulker automatically. Um, we would just need a player to place the end crystals. 
But I don't want to do shulker farming this way, I think we're just gonna yeah, do it the normal way. So with the intended vanilla mechanic. Okay, shulker already starts shooting. Hmm, let's just try it again, see how it goes. Yes! Okay, we got a sect shulker. Should be on, on this level. Okay! Sweet! So my idea would have been that if a couple shulkers around and then they maybe shoot each other and then get a ton of shulkers this way. A ton, I mean, we need, only need a couple. Just for a couple boxes. There we go, another one. Perfect. But it didn't work like that immediately. Oh. I think there's like the fourth Shulker here, so I'm just gonna kill one. Looting helps a bit, as far as I know, instead of having a 50% chance, there's yeah, something like an almost 70% chance. What is that? Shulking in the shadows. Okay, Shulking in the shadows was a skyblock advancement. It unlocks high and mighty, get a pair of elytra from a flying endermite. As I said, that's the thing we're gonna do next episode. Oh my god, we got four Shulkers on one layer now. It's total chaos. I think this might even be too much because like the more shikers you have around the, the lower the chances that they're gonna duplicate. Oh man I want my cobble walls back. <laughs> getting a bit crazy here. Okay I'm gonna take a quick break from the shiker farming because I got two shells now so we can craft the first box. Sweet. Chest and... Do we not have the recipe for it? Oh there it is. Shulker box. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. Now I can actually finally put all of the stuff in the inner chest in a proper Shulker box. No longer have all of those loose items around. Fortune pickaxe. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, Silk Touch Ho. And all of this stuff. So this is actually really good progress. <laughs> we might even make more progress. Here's also the phantoms I need anyway for the phantom and brain for the slow falling potion. And there we go, now we also have three phantom membrane for next episode, so the plan is to get the gold and I get the nether ward. Okay, I think this was good progress for one episode, got a shulker box and we also have no shulkers available in case you want to get the elytra for example. Right, so the plan is now just to have this manual set up there of the shulkers, I might get four or five more boxes for item transport and so on. And eventually we're also going to make a shulker farm, but there's a couple other things we want to do first. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this episode guys, thanks for watching and see you next time, bye bye!